We are live today with NASA experts who are excited to share the latest images we have of the interstellar comet 3I Atlas. 3I means third interstellar and Atlas refers to the NASA funded Atlas Survey Telescope, which made the discovery. NASA and ESA just released new images of comet 3I slash Atlas, and scientists are struggling to explain what they are seeing. This interstellar object is erupting, pulsing, and throwing off multiple tails as it races through our solar system. The images show activity far stronger than expected from a frozen traveler that spent billions of years in deep space. With December 19th approaching fast, telescopes across the solar system are locked onto this visitor, and what they're finding is absolutely stunning. The images that changed everything. On December 4th, NASA released fresh images that instantly reset the conversation around 3i slash Atlas. The Hubble Space Telescope captured the comet on November 30th when it was 178 million miles from Earth, revealing something extraordinary. The images show a bright glowing blue cocoon of gas and dust wrapped around the comet's core, stretching thousands of miles into space. Stars in the background appear as long streaks because Hubble had to track the comet's rapid movement across the sky. But here's where things get really interesting. The same day, the European Space Agency's JUICE spacecraft released its own observations from November 2nd, when it was much closer to the comet than Hubble. The JUICE navigation camera caught something Hubble couldn't see from its angle. Two distinct tails emerged from the comet's glowing halo, splitting off in different directions like a cosmic fork in the road. One tail, made of electrically charged gas called plasma, stretched upward in the image, the second tail, fainter and broader, pointed in a completely different direction. This dust tail carried tiny solid particles being pushed away by sunlight and solar wind. The fact that these tails are separating at such sharp angles tells scientists that something active is happening inside the comet right now. What makes these images so critical is timing. The comet had just passed its closest point to the sun on October 29th, traveling at a staggering 153,000 miles per hour. That close encounter should have heated it up dramatically, causing frozen materials to transform directly from ice into gas. And that's exactly what NASA and ESA both caught in action. The comet now approaching Earth isn't the same quiet object first spotted back in July. Something fundamental has changed. The heating from its close solar pass has clearly intensified the comet's activity, brightening its coma and strengthening its tails. These changes aren't mysterious, Comets often respond this way when sunlight warms their ices, but they provide scientists with a rare chance to study an interstellar visitor up close. And with December 19th approaching, telescopes across the solar system are poised to capture its final close pass, offering a detailed look at how this traveler from another star behaves as it swings through our cosmic neighborhood. The Third Visitor Since astronomers started systematically watching the skies, only three confirmed objects from beyond our solar system have ever passed through our cosmic neighborhood. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, that strange cigar-shaped rock that sparked endless debates. The second was Comet 2I slash Borisov in 2019, which looked and acted more like the comets we're used to seeing. Now we have 3I slash Atlas, and it's proving to be something entirely different from both its predecessors. The Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System Telescope in Chile first spotted this visitor on July 1, 2025. Within weeks, scientists confirmed what the orbital calculations were screaming at them. This object came from another star system entirely, traveling on a hyperbolic path that meant it would never be captured by our sun's gravity. It was just passing through, a brief tourist in our corner of the galaxy. But unlike Oumuamua, which remained largely inert and silent. 3i slash Atlas immediately started showing signs of life. When Hubble first photographed it in late July, astronomers could already see a teardrop-shaped dust cloud forming around its nucleus. That early observation helped scientists estimate the size of the solid core somewhere between 1,400 feet and 3.5 miles across. That makes it potentially the largest interstellar object we've ever studied up close. What really sets this comet apart, though, is what happened as it got closer to the Sun. While approaching its October perihelion, 
multiple spacecraft positioned throughout the solar system all turned their instruments toward this cosmic visitor. Mars orbiters caught it from one angle. Solar observatories tracked it from another. Even missions headed to Jupiter paused their primary objectives to grab whatever data they could. And in late November, the ALMA Observatory in Chile pointed its powerful radio telescopes at 3I-Atlas and detected something absolutely remarkable. The comet is absolutely loaded with methanol and hydrogen cyanide, two molecules that scientists consider essential building blocks for life. Now, before you jump to conclusions, let's be clear about what this means. These aren't signs of living organisms, but they are the chemical ingredients that can eventually lead to the formation of amino acids, proteins, and other complex organic molecules. And the concentrations coming off this comet are breaking records in ways that make scientists do a double take. Martin Cordner, an astrochemist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, led the team studying the comet's chemical composition. His findings showed that roughly 8% of all the vapor streaming off 3I slash Atlas is methanol. To put that in perspective, typical comets from our own solar system only show methanol levels around 2% or less. This visitor from another star system is producing about four times as much as anything we've measured before. The hydrogen cyanide numbers are equally startling. When the team compared the ratio of methanol to hydrogen cyanide, they found levels second only to one anomalous comet in our entire solar system, C-2016 R2. As Cordner explained to journalists, in most comets, these molecules appear only as faint traces. But in this alien visitor, they're dominant, abundant, and everywhere. The distribution is strange too. Methanol appears both in the rocky core and throughout the fuzzy cloud surrounding the nucleus. Meanwhile, hydrogen cyanide seems concentrated closer to the core itself. This pattern suggests complex chemical processes happening inside the comet that we still don't fully understand. And there is something else we don't fully understand yet. Something much easier to notice, but not as easy to explain. Why is it 3 I slash Atlas so blue? The color mystery. If you could somehow see 3i slash Atlas with your own eyes right now, you'd be struck by something unusual. The comet glows with an intense blue-green color that makes it stand out from almost every other comet astronomers have studied. This isn't just aesthetic, it's telling scientists something important about what's happening on and inside this object. Most comets tend to look reddish as they approach the sun. That color comes from dust particles reflecting and scattering sunlight in specific ways. But 3i slash Atlas has maintained this striking blue-green hue throughout its entire journey through our solar system. The color comes from diatomic carbon, molecules made of two carbon atoms bonded together that emit greenish light when energized by solar radiation. What's fascinating is that the comet actually changed colors over time. When the Gemini South Telescope in Chile first observed it back in August, before its close solar flyby, the comet appeared distinctly redder. Then, as it swung around the sun and heated up dramatically, it shifted to this vibrant green-blue glow. That color transformation tells scientists that new molecules are being released into space as the comet warms up, offering fresh clues about its mysterious chemical makeup. Again, this is not completely unusual behavior but the stark colors astronomers are observing lately are worth mentioning, as they seem much brighter compared to the other stellar visitors we've had so far. The blue component we can clearly notice in the newly dropped images likely comes from gases like cyanogen and possibly ammonia being ejected from the surface. Combined with the green glow from carbon, the overall effect creates this otherworldly appearance that's captured in every recent image. Some researchers think the unusual brightness and color might be related to the comet's lack of a dust mantle, a protective coating that most comets develop over time. Without that mantle, 3i slash Atlas is responding more dramatically to solar heating than typical comets do, and that heating is creating something else entirely unexpected that spacecraft are watching unfold in real time. The Great Observation Campaign Right now, as you watch this, an unprecedented collaboration is happening across millions of miles of space. More than a dozen spacecraft and observatories designed for completely different missions 
have all temporarily shifted their focus to track this single object racing through our solar system. It's the largest coordinated observation campaign of an interstellar visitor in history. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has made two separate observation runs. The James Webb Space Telescope added its infrared vision to the mix. The TESS Exoplanet Hunter, Swift Space Observatory, and even the Mars Perseverance rover on the surface of the Red Planet all captured glimpses of the comet. ESA's Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter got incredibly close looks from their orbits around Mars. The Parker Solar Probe, while studying the Sun, caught the comet passing through its field of view. Even NASA's Psyche mission, currently headed to study a metal asteroid, turned its instruments toward 3 i atlas The European Space Agency's JUICE spacecraft, en route to study Jupiter's icy moons, used five different scientific instruments to examine the comet from just 41 million miles away. That's closer than any Earth-based telescope could ever get. The data juice collected won't fully reach Earth until late February 2026 because the spacecraft is currently using its main antenna as a heat shield. But the teaser images already released show activity levels that caught the mission team completely off guard. Perhaps the most crucial observations came from ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. Scientists used that spacecraft's position near Mars to triangulate the comet's exact path through space with unprecedented precision. By combining Mars-based data with Earth observations, they improved the accuracy of the comet's trajectory by a factor of 10. That's the kind of planetary defense rehearsal that could prove invaluable if we ever need to track a genuine threat. But right now, the only thing we need to focus on is our wonder, because December 19th is approaching, the day when 3i Atlas will be clearly visible again. December 19th and beyond. The big day is almost here. On December 19th, 3 i atlas will reach its closest approach to Earth, passing at a distance of roughly 170 million miles. That's about 1.8 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, which means there's absolutely zero danger to our planet. For reference, Mars at its closest gets only about 35 million miles from Earth, so this comet will remain safely distant. Still, that proximity gives astronomers a golden window for observation. The comet, now approaching Earth for its final close pass, should remain visible to moderate and large amateur telescopes through early 2026. It won't become a spectacular naked-eye object like some historic comets, but dedicated observers with good equipment and dark skies should be able to spot it moving through the constellations Virgo and Leo in December before it gradually fades. What happens after December 19th is equally fascinating, the comet will continue its journey outward, passing relatively close to Jupiter in spring 2026. That encounter will give scientists one last chance to study this visitor before it heads back into the vast darkness between stars. After that, it's gone forever, continuing its journey through the Milky Way on a path that might take millions of years before encountering another solar system. Scientists expect to keep gathering data for several more months as telescopes track the comet's retreat. Every measurement matters because objects like this are incredibly rare. We might not see another confirmed interstellar visitor for years, possibly decades. The chemical signatures, the unusual color changes, the dramatic activity levels, all of it adds pieces to a puzzle about how planetary systems form around other stars and what materials they contain. 3. i atlases strange activity might end up being not so strange after all. But it sure is fascinating. What do you think is really driving the activity seen in Comet 3 i atlas And does it change how you view objects from other star systems? Share your opinions in the comments, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating content.